25 BP Guru, and today we're going to be back in our first person shooter game, um, the reboot uh, 5.2, to um, basically start getting some animations going. And um, to begin with, uh, I'm going to change the character. I don't really want the, the UE5 person. Um, I'd rather kind of start afresh with a new character. Now, this is partly to do with the fact that most of the animations you're going to find on UE, on the UE marketplace at the moment are no good with 5.2. You're going to find you're having a lot of issues getting things working at the moment because a lot of them are outdated now, far outdated compared to how they are now. So getting them working with the... Um, the Unreal Engine Mannequin is just an absolute pain. Um, so I'm going to be bringing back uh, a wonderful character and I'm going to be going over to Mixamo for my animations. So if you can get animations working on your character, fine, go ahead. You'll still be able to follow along with this tutorial. It's just I'm making my life a bit easier by going to another website. And you're going to see Test Subject Michael. Oh, God, we haven't seen him since the game jam. So... Um, He's currently loading for some reason. I don't know why. Um, there we go. Uh, so, for the best results, uh, have your character in T-pose with fingers spread apart. Use arrow buttons to rotate your character and have his face front forward, which it is. So we're, we're seeing the whole auto-rigger process now. So we'll click on that. We need to then assign where these things go. Oh, we just drag it, sorry. So that goes on the chin. Got the wrists, we've got the elbows, we've got the knees, and we've got the groin. And click next, and it should just do lovely. It, it has to, it does take a while to uh, rig it. Okay, now it should, there we go. That's better, that's what we were hoping to see. So we click next on that, and uh, we can click next on that, and it should. Load him up into an animation. There we go. It's looking better already. So if we click crouch, we can find ourselves a wonderful crouch animation. And we'll click back on this one. There he is in his terrifying crouch pose. Oh, God, he's scary. <laughs> we'll download that one. Download that again. And we should be good to go. Uh, if we do crouch walk. Oh. And find ourselves a crouch walk animation. Uh, here we go. This one I think is the one I, I previously tried. And we do in place. Make sure it's in place. There we go. God, he, oh, he looks he looks a bit like um, Pink Panther for some reason. Doing that sort of walk. So we're going to download that one as well for the crouching. Now, the next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to resort out his walk. Um, which we just want a, we don't want something, Jesus, why is it so poncy? And that's just sneaking, that's not walking, is it? And that's a bit funky. Um, let's go for something like this. What does this look like? Again, don't forget to click in place. That looks all right. We'll take that one. Okay, walking. Uh, we want a uh, stand, oh, we want like a stand idle, that's a standing idle, uh, that one looks better, we'll go for that one, and then we want a run. Run idle. That uh, run idle? No, we just want to run, right? <laughs> and again, set it to in place. And that looks good to me. We'll download that one. Okay. So once we've got all our animations, we can head back over to here. Uh, we want to go into the third person character. And I've created a folder for animations. Take all the ones, now I'm going to do this one at a time. I'm going to start with the crouch idle and 
for the first time, we don't want to include a skeletal mesh. We just want it to, um, so say no skeletal mesh. So it'll come with its own skeletal mesh. Uh, or no, we will, no, set it to none, sorry. Keep skeletal mesh ticked, set the skeleton to none, and import animations ticked true, and import all. The second time we do it, we want to make sure we add it to the um, to the skeleton we have. So rename this to um, test subject Michael uh, underscore skeleton. So the reason we're renaming that is so we know what it's called, so that when we drag the other three in. We don't get lost um, after all. Now these ones should just import the the um, so it comes up with test subject Michael, so that's good. Dot test subject Michael, that, yeah, that's fine. So just import all these, and we shouldn't end up with any more skeletal meshes or uh, materials or anything like that. Okay, remove that and open up the content drawer again. Oh god. Uh, okay, right. Jesus. Okay, there we go. So we've got the one skeleton. We've got the one physics actor, and we should have the one skeletal mesh here. I don't know why there's two. What's this one? Uh, oh, it's the old one. Okay, and what's the other one? There it is. We've got our skeletal mesh. So all of these animations, in theory, should work now with um, good old uh, test subject Michael. So to have a look at this, we'll uh we'll take a look at the actual animation one of them there it is he's got now he will be a bit meshed up and the reason for that is that um he needs to have his bones uh retargeted so to do that when you open up any animation and it should affect all of it it should be fine you want to find the skeleton tree on the left top here and we want to um click on the settings option here and come down to show retargeting options. Tick that to true. And then what we need to do is make sure it's set. Now we need to be a little bit careful because I think the hips is, it's taking that as the, as the root. So one of them needs to stay as animation. I'm going to take it as that's the hips this time. The rest need to go to Skellington. The reason the hip stays as animations is that's what affects the root of the animation. Uh, now, ooh, it's um, being a little bit slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to amend all mine, and then I'll show yours. Um, show you what I've done afterwards, which ones I've kept as animation, and which ones I've kept as skeleton. And then, so we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so once you've set everything to skeleton, um. There should only be one set to animation, which is the hips, which I think in this case is the root bone. Everything else looks pretty much as it should. Uh, the feet are a little bit into the floor, but we can fix that with a bit of smoke and mirrors um, in the actual BP. But everything else is, you know, kind of how it should be. Um, you can set these ones as well to Skellington, but they don't have uh any effect on how it looks i mean you can see the feet all look fine as well so it's looking good and if we open up the crouched walking and the idle whichever where it is that's not the right one walking and so we've only got the walking and the crouch idle for some reason on here um if we take a look at where is it? Crouch walking. We've got a lot of crouch walking, crouch idles. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, we need to import the... Um, ah, import the wrong ones, that's why. Let's uh, let's take walking, standing idle and running as well. We'll bring those in too. Um, but now that we've done all the retargeting, we shouldn't need to do anything extra with those. It's just a case of... Um, opening them up and taking a look, but they all should be fine. Okay, those are in as well. So let's have a look at the walking. Uh, that's not doing anything. Okay, fine. Um, 
let's see. Uh, where is it? Oh, that's the skeletal mesh. My bad. Sorry. There we go. So we've got walking. And the other one should be running. And him. There we go. That looks pretty good. And the last one is just the standard, uh, the standard idle, which as well looks pretty good. So with that all done, we just now need to kind of get these into actual proper animations, but that's kind of how I'm doing my animation setup. I'm not going to go into too much else in this episode because we've covered quite a bit with things like getting importing the animations and retargeting the animations um ready to use them what we're going to do in the next episode is bring that all together by setting up uh, an animation blueprint and um also setting up the crouch uh, movements um and i'd also like to kind of go on further with that and add in prone but uh, we'll do that in the next couple of episodes but hopefully this has helped you to kind of understand how i'm importing my animations and getting them ready to kind of use for our character now again this probably this episode probably hasn't helped you if you're using the ue5 mannequin so unfortunate to say if you can get it imported into mixamo you'll be able to use all the mixamo animations i advise exporting that character out and trying to upload it for me sadly it didn't work uh it has worked in the past i'm not sure what's happened since 5.2 um but uh who knows um maybe you guys find a solution you can put it in the comments for me and i'd appreciate that and i can do i can cover that down the line but for now i still need to find a solution around that so i'm using one of my characters i used in the past so again use whatever character you want find your animations uh if you can get it selected up connected up into mixamo like i did with uh, test subject michael you can download all those animations and, and obviously this is how you import those animations and um, get them ready to be used um, for your crouches and your walks, etc. But thank you so much guys for watching. Hopefully you found this episode useful still um, and you'll be a little bit more prepared for when we do more stuff down the line. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It's free to do. You can always change your mind down the line and uh, I will see you all soon. Much love. Take care. Bye.